You shouldn't open carry because, well, someone can just take the gun away from you, sneak up from behind, take it away from you, shoot you in the head, and everybody else with it. You shouldn't open carry because now you become the target. Oh, and by the way, you open carrying, that gives us all a bad name. So you need to stop it now. There's always been the discussion of why you shouldn't open carry. I mean, there's videos, there's literature on it, uh, there's articles and all that. And every time I read or watch these videos, I think, I don't really agree with these people. I don't think it's that bad of idea to open carry. Now I get it guys, there's certain situations that don't lend themselves well to open carry, and we'll get to those in a minute. But to just say in general that it's a bad idea, I just can't agree with that. Now listen guys, if you don't feel comfortable open carrying, by all means don't do it, please don't. But if you've been thinking about it, you're on the fence about it, well maybe this video can help you. Now me, I prefer to conceal carry. But not for the reasons that we're gonna mention in this video. I prefer it because I'm the owner of Bravo Concealment. We manufacture the best concealed carry holsters. And so every once in a while, I have to show how well our holsters conceal. If you follow us on Instagram, on our stories, you'll see that I share my everyday carry very often. The other reason is because when Texas allowed people to conceal carry, it was that, conceal carry. In 1996, I've been concealed carrying for over 20 years, and I'm just so used to it. It's only been four years that they've allowed people to open carry. I'm just so used to conceal carry, it's become second nature to me. Also, and this is just me, guys, uh, I just don't really like making people feel uncomfortable around me. But I'll say this, the older I get, the less I care about that. So we'll see. So I'm gonna break down the top three reasons why people think you shouldn't open carry. Reason number one, they're just gonna creep up from behind and take the gun away from you. Now, can it happen? Of course, anything can happen. Can two inches of snow in South Texas happen? It's rare, but it can happen. But if I was a betting man, I wouldn't bet on it. The fact of the matter, guys, is that this rarely happens. Why? Because most criminals are cowards and criminals take the path of least resistance. Now, this is why most crimes happen in gun-free zones and why guns that are stolen are stolen from homes and vehicles and not from people wearing them at the time. All right, well, someone can just clobber you over the head and take your gun while you're laying there unconscious. What then? Okay. Let's examine that. A criminal is gonna come up to you, take his chances on clobbering you over the head, knocking you out to take your gun. That goes against everything we know about how most criminals are cowards and they won't do that. Now this is why I said earlier, if you don't feel like open carrying, please don't do it. Don't. But you're more likely to get clobbered over the head with a two by four if the perp knows that you don't have a gun on you or something that you can protect yourself against him. Now this brings me Now this brings me to an important point. Situational awareness, guys. This is super important whether you're concealed carrying, open carrying or not carrying at all. Knowing what's around you is super important and could be your best defense against an attacker. Now many people talk about wearing a level 2 or level 3 type holster when open carrying. You can do this. Now, you may ask, what's a level two, level three? Well, let's talk about this. So a Bravo Concealment holster is a level one retention holster, meaning that the holster itself is a form of retention. Now, there's a retention screw on the holster to set your desired retention, but it still remains a level one holster. So a level two type holster has two forms of retention, the holster itself and maybe a hood that goes on top here holding the gun in place, or like a Serpa holster has a button here to release the gun from the holster. And a level three type holster has three forms of retention, meaning that it takes three actions to draw the gun. Now, if you feel that you need a level two or level three type holster to open carry, by all means, go do that. But most people that open carry simply just carry with a level one holster. Level one holsters that are designed to a specific gun like the Bravo Concealment holster or any good leather holster or Kydex holster holds the gun fairly secure. Now you have to pull straight up to draw the gun from one of these holsters and you have to be deliberate. So if someone tries to grab your gun and pull it out from your holster, it's not gonna come out if it's going so if someone grabs your gun and tries to pull it out at an angle, it's not gonna come out. All right, now let's talk about reason number two. The element of surprise is gone. Now, what do I mean by this? Or what do they mean by that? That means that, you know, if you're open carrying, now the bad guy knows you have a gun. And so now the element of surprise is practically out the window. 
Does that make sense? Now, I understand this way of thinking, but I really have a hard time grasping it because I automatically think about deterrence. Again, guys, most criminals are cowards. They choose the path of least resistance. This is why when they break into a home, it's when no one's there. When they rob a convenience store, it's in the middle of the night with a BB gun. Now, imagine if we go by the element of surprise principle in open carrying. Well, then why do security guards or security officers open carry in a bank? Why do they open carry in events or movie theaters? Now, I understand that most of us are not sworn officers or don't have a level two, level three certification to be a security officer, but aren't they creating a deterrence in protecting property and our lives? Isn't that what they're doing when you see them out there at movie theaters and at large events? Isn't that what we do when we're trying to protect our families, when we're walking with them, alongside them? Isn't that what we do? What, what is, is it? it? Is, is it? it? Huh? I think that deterrence by open carrying is very underrated by people who carry on a daily basis or you just simply have a CCW to conceal carry. Now there's people that say, well, you can be the first targeted man if they see you open carrying. Yes, but this brings up an interesting point that I mentioned earlier. Know when you can open carry because there are certain places that lend themselves to and that don't lend themselves at all. Now places with large crowds, it's not really ideal for open carry. I mean, if you're walking and you're shoulder to shoulder with people that you don't even know, you're probably better off concealed carrying. I mean, that's obvious. Or if you're in an area where law and order is practically non-existent, you may want to conceal carry. But if you're in an area that you feel you need like a whole posse to come with you just to get through it so that you can feel safe, well, maybe it's not a good idea to open carry. Conceal carry or just Get out of Dodge, man. What are you doing in a place like that? Be prudent, use common sense. Again, like I said, there's certain areas that lend themselves to open carry. Know that, be mindful of that. Reason numero tres, you're giving us all a bad name by walking around and flaunting that gun. I, I don't get this one. I, I just can't wrap my head around that notion. I, I don't get it, man. You're practicing your God-given right to carry a gun openly if it's allowed in your state. So I don't understand why people get all upset when they see somebody open carrying. Well, they're just doing it to show off. How do you know what they're thinking? Are you a mind reader? I mean, how do you know their intent to open carry? Maybe they can't conceal carry. Maybe that's not for them. Maybe they just want to open carry. They want to carry their gun. They can't conceal carry. So on a hot summer day, they just open carry. Who cares? As long as they're not bothering anyone, what does it matter? By the way, go check out our video inside the waistband. Why is it so uncomfortable? Awesome video, Dan. We'll put the link here somewhere. Awesome, awesome video, go check it out. I've had people tell me this is why they come after our rights because we go out there and we show both them. They're coming after the second amendment because they just don't like guns, period. And they don't like us. It doesn't matter if we play nice or not. As long as we're doing what's legally right and what we can do, it doesn't matter, guys. Don't let political correctness keep you from carrying, whether it's concealed or open carry, don't. I have no issues with people open carrying. I, I've seen them, I'll praise them, I'll thank them. To me, it just screams America. Now, this video is simply the other side of the argument on why open carry is bad. At the end of the day, guys, it's up to you. Now, do your due diligence, find out what it is you can and can't do, know your state laws, know your local laws, but go out there and start carrying, whether it's concealed, open carry, just go out there and exercise your Second Amendment rights. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thank <laughs> you.